Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome to the channel. My name is Rich. I think I already said that. Uh, I sell t-shirts for a living. Um, I cover some design stuff here and there. Um, if you've been following the channel, you know, I know how to use Photoshop. I know how to use Illustrator. But sometimes there's some designs that it takes more time to make. And there's easier solutions. So I've covered this before. Canva, you can design like a pro. And if you can use the link down below, you can try Canva Pro for free. I think it's for 30 days. So go ahead and click the link and check that out. But somebody the other day asked about a social media kit for your brand. So when it comes to things like that, you can use stuff like Canva. Of course, you can use Photoshop and stuff, but when it comes to stuff that is already laid out for you in the layout, a template, it's easier to use stuff like this. And I've been finding myself using Canva more and more, especially the one that's on my phone for a quick little post and stuff. So there's tons of stuff that you can use for social media, t-shirts, your website, a lot of things, right? Especially the, uh, the space that we're in, doing e-com and building brands. Canva is very useful, especially for the price. So after your free membership expires, I think it's only like 10 or 12 bucks per month and it's worth every single bit. So if you click on the search on the top, um, as you can see, my most recent ones was Instagram reels, video stories, story ads. Uh, this really sets your stories apart and give you a higher uh, retention rate whenever somebody's watching your stories. Not only that, it's just higher quality. So this one right here is very good for a clothing brand and it has more than one slide. So that's pretty dope. So. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now check this out. This story right here has more than one slide. So not only do you get a cool little photo, it's very cohesive the entire time whenever like you're using different posts on different days. So I really like this right here. This is definitely my style. I'm very black and white. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here and upload my own picture. So all I'm going to do is click on the uploads button, click on device. And I'm just going to click on the photo that I would like. And once I have my photo, it's going to be right there. All I'm going to do is resize it. I'm going to make it similar to the one behind. All I'm going to do is delete this. Looks like I clicked on it twice. So I'm going to delete this one right here. I'm going to move this on over here. I'm going to hit crop. And now we're just going to make it similar to what it was before. All right, double click it and check this out. You can actually move layers around as if this was Photoshop. So I'm going to send this to the very back. So now that moves it behind those texts, right? And I can still resize it a little bit. And of course, the photo's not in black and white. So I'm just going to click on it, click on filter right here, street with grayscale. Grayscale looks pretty good. You can change the intensity so that you can still have some color or we can click on street. Street looks pretty good. Think about right there looks pretty good so right there it says spring sale but we can always change that to whatever we want only ninjas check that out only ninjas nah kind of like spring sale so we can have like a spring sale or like flash sale free worldwide delivery we can keep that there half off or whatever you want it to be but i think you get the point this is pretty dope for like some Instagram stories and we can go ahead and do that for more than just one flash sale. Of course, that'll be an easy photo change. Got stuff like this. Here's more with the same style, different text, different photo. So this is pretty much already laid out for you. And this right here takes a little bit more time to do on Photoshop for uh, something like this. I like to use something like Canva because it's very plug and play. Now, I just went ahead and click back and check this out. There's so many more templates that you can use. And right here is an animated story. So for stories, it don't always has to be just a picture, right? So let's click on this one right here. Check this out. This one has some animations to it. So it just pops out a little more for the viewer. Uh, we, Of course, we want to delete stuff like that. What we can do is go back to our uploads. So I uploaded a mock-up. Of course, we've already covered up mock-ups on this uh, channel. I've never actually tried to use uh, Canva for mock-ups. They may have mock-ups. So check this out. I'm going to put this in the corner where we had the pencils earlier. Rotate it a little bit. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to duplicate it over here. Also, bring it over here. Rotate it some more. Now we got some of the merch on there. Of course, we're going to change that pink. Um, right here, I'm going to change it to black. Now check that out. Uh, of course, <laughs> I would want to change this text as well. And then we can change something like this text right here to swipe up. So, it's a little too large. I 
there we go now check that out so that's an easy way to make instagram stories for your social media that's a little less boring and of course they have stuff for post stuff for your website so this is an easy uh go-to solution when it comes to a social media kit for your brand um so make sure you check out canva so we're gonna go back to our search right here i just want to show you all real quick i'm not gonna edit these but instagram posts you can edit all of these it's just very easy to use templates um this one's pretty cool. I like it whenever people use this, especially for something that's like inspirational or something that has to do with your brand. Like right here, you could put uh, the grind will go unnoticed. I forgot how the, the saying goes, but your, your grind will go unnoticed, but your results will not. I think I, I may be wrong on that, but uh, it's something like that. So we can take this, our background, and we could either make it a solid black or we can just go ahead and change it. So I went ahead and used the same background. We can delete this one. This, of course, we want to send this to the very back. And what we're going to do is hit filter, street. Not only that, we're going to want to lower the opacity. So right here, we lower it all the way down. But we also want to change the background color. So let me move this out of the way. I'm going to click on this. Hit black. All right, see, now I'm back. I hope y'all caught that. So all I did was move this out of the way. I just clicked on this real quick. This little square right here, this is for your background color. White, black. Now move this back. Sweet. Maybe we can raise the opacity a little bit. But there we go. So that's a quick little Instagram post. Uh, of course, you can do this in Photoshop, but check this out. This would take a lot of unnecessary time. And sometimes when I make stuff like this in Photoshop, it ends up like... Uh, I don't like the way it looks, so I'm not going to go with it. So that's why it's nice to choose from different templates and be like, yeah, let's try that out. And if it doesn't work, we try out a different template. But for those of you all who have a website and struggling to make a banner, they also have quick and easy to use uh, website banner stuff. You know, the little header section. So this right here, um, great stuff, especially if you like to change your banner very often. I personally slack a lot when it comes to this so I definitely need to start using this more myself but they have some easy to use solutions over here and I honestly need to start using this section a little more so that's why I'm showing you this because this is something myself I suck at changing all the time on the website so you have your banner right here and they already have options say if you had like a slideshow style banner that you can actually put more than one banner and it's still cohesive within your brand design so each slide you know if on your website you have the slideshow version each slide is different but it still looks the same it has the whole cohesive look and i think i used the word cohesive one too many times but that's the importance of using something like this where it's a template and it's already made for you and so i'm just going to go back to the home page and right here as you vast social media kit there's just so many options to choose from facebook cover tiktok videos youtube thumbnails youtube channel art twitter posts pinterest pen and everything is just so easy to use i find myself using canva more and more especially since i downloaded the mobile version i just been using it for little posts here and there but uh i wanted to see we've already done t-shirt design in the past so i want to see if they have t-shirt mock-ups on here okay i don't see any t-shirt mock-ups i just see phone mock-ups uh stuff like that so i don't think they have t-shirt mock-ups on here but this right here is an actual cool design for a little t-shirt you always gotta keep it simple so i can click on this right here change the element let's look for a ninja let's see what they got uh not a huge fan of these ninjas okay so right now i'm just playing around with this design honestly seeing what we can come up with it's not too bad honestly but I'm very simple. I like simple designs. I like simple prints. I like white on black. So um, if you see it the same way I do, then this will be a cool back print. And then you could also do like a little chest print right here. So hopefully this is useful to you all. I myself, I've showed this for t-shirt designs. This is an option if you don't want to. Uh, I highly suggest learning Photoshop and Illustrator over time. But you know this is an easy thing to pick up and learn and 
it really does kind of help you out with um photoshop and illustrator because it teaches you layers that's one of the important things about photoshop and illustrator is like layering stuff so that's one thing you will pick up from this um so check this out it already had like the front version of the t-shirt design right here like i was saying this would be the chest print and this would be the back print all right so actually this one right here looks even better there we go that's pretty cool honestly i could go on for days just looking for a design so we may have to cut this some at some point let's change this to oops that's a k all right i don't like that so we're gonna change this font to maybe something like this no horizon i love this font i love this style of font where it's very compact uh nice little sans serif font good things take time i actually kind of like the way that looks but let's go ahead and come over here look for a time i'm looking for something not like that more so of what do you guys call this right here the little sand time thing <laughs> what do you call this thing an hourglass all right so an hourglass all right hourglass so I click on that change that to white I want to add some clouds maybe like right there come on over here hit duplicate add another one probably right there and then add a lightning bolt let's do a lightning bolt come on let's do something like this one and change this to yellow so I'm gonna send this to the very back almost there something like maybe like that let's duplicate it bring that over here send this to the back make this one smaller all right, so I think something like that is pretty neat. I think, you know, I like to keep things simple. I don't know how many times I got to say that. I'm going to copy it, bring it on over here. Oh, can't do it like that, huh? So I'm going to delete this. See how we paste something over here. Take this. And here's our front t-shirt design. Or for our front t-shirt, we can also change that. Just only put it like that. I'm going to click effects, remove the curve, hit none. And we're gonna resize it, gonna move it like that. So something simple like that for front t-shirt design, and something like that for rear t-shirt design. Needs a little changes, but I hope this video helped you out. You can use Canva for a social media kit for your brand, use it for your website. Uh, it's very easy to learn, pick up and learn, start designing. Some will consider it's not exactly designing your editing templates, but hey, you're learning something new, which is very important. And I already know how to use Photoshop and Illustrator. And I tell you one thing, it's easier to go back and do something that's going to save you time rather than sit here and try and learn something that's crazy new and hard to uh, be motivated about whenever it's hard to accomplish like one entire design from. So I recommend learning something like this and then over time learn something like photoshop and illustrate so you can get those more intricate designs so i hope this video helped you out uh, and use the link down below we'll get you a 30-day free trial for canva pro hey hustle ninja thanks for watching remember if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand be sure to check out only ninjas.com also make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay hustling